Hello everybody, Factspace here with What Kind of Procrastinator Are You? We all know that feeling of being aware of the amount of work that needs doing but utterly lacking the willpower to start and finish it. It's called procrastinating and different people have different ways of going about it. What type of procrastinator are you? The Perfectionist Being a perfectionist means you are often overcome by expectations and the need to do things perfectly. This also makes for excessive procrastination because you will simply avoid tasks so as to avoid being judged for the end result of your projects. Setting clear deadlines is one way to stop being a perfectionist procrastinator as it gives you less time to brood over something before doing it. The Overdoer The overdoer often finds themselves in a position of procrastination because they find it hard to say no. This causes them to have far too much to do and becoming overwhelmed. For this type of procrastinator, it is important to acknowledge their own limitations and learn to say no. The Drama Queen This type of procrastinator isn't reserved for movies and TV. They exist in real life and are of the belief that they perform better under pressure. For this reason, they leave things to the absolute last minute before starting to work like crazy to meet their deadline. This causes a significant amount of stress and can lead to health problems which is why the drama queen should invest in different motivators to help them complete tasks. The Dreamer In a way, we are all dreamers. We dream of the future and what it may hold for us. When you're a dreamer procrastinator, however, you might be thinking about how long things will take and underestimating the length of time all in one go. This means that while dreamers are performing tasks, they often get bored very quickly and abandon a project long before it's done. For dreamers, it is important to let friends and colleagues know what they are busy with, if only to reach a level of accountability. It is also useful for the dreamer to reward themselves after completing smaller, easily achievable goals and work up to the bigger ones. The Rebel Don't like being told what to do and when to do it? Then you're a rebel. Don't like being told that you're always missing deadlines? Then you're a rebel procrastinator. You might find it difficult to report back to authority figures or do things according to rules and regulations. This is because it chips away at your sense of control over a project. While it may be easier said than done, the best way for a rebel to overcome procrastination is to reflect on the best way to act within a situation rather than react against it. The Worrier This might be the most stressful kind of procrastinating you can do, worry. Worriers are driven by fear and often suffer from imposter syndrome. Instead of sitting down and worrying about everything that needs to get done, the worrier will benefit from taking time out for other activities, including exercise and relaxation, before tackling a task bit by bit. Thanks for watching.